Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be, I've got to change some points on the flat lifter, I've got to go flat lifting, um, and yeah, just got a few few odd jobs to do. You can see New Holland got me from uh, from coming over and uh, using our farm, they sent a load of overalls and stuff, so that was nice of them. Yeah, I'd also like to uh, shout out SAB Agri for my favourite comment last week. It was about loving to see dogs in tractors and he's right. Everyone loves seeing dogs in tractors. Dogs in tractors are the best. They're your best mate. They all sit with you. They're brilliant. Like this little guy. And I'm right off. <laughs> it's always always concentrating on things, Collies. You never get anything past a collie, I'll tell you that. Um, so yeah, let's just let's get into it. We have got some, I've got some on the shelf. What's wrong with the, what's wrong with the scraper? The, uh, this bracket here, mm -hmm. the, uh, those bolts have come loose. Um, and I think one bolt in here is sheared off. So yeah. I'm gonna take him, uh, take him off and see if I can get the extractor on there. Uh, okay. And take that one out. Those I think will unscrew, and we just got to put new bolts in. Yeah. Um, oh, nice. Um, it's I, if it goes well, it'll be easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it here first. <laughs> uh, right, we got our own things to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll leave him to that. <laughs> And these, oh yeah, my workshop. I don't think anyone's seen my workshop. Uh, lots of shelves, lots of stuff. And this is where I keep my tractor related things. So, scraper tractor, this is the drive shaft of the scraper tractor that you've seen broken. Uh, that's my, uh, scrape the, the wheel scraper off the plow. Uh, I, leave, I keep some old points just as spares if I get any problems. That's a one-way return valve which I took off because it was annoying me. Link balls, lifters, that's a plow bracket as well. That's a light for the buggy that I need to fix. But up here, these are the points and we got shed loads of them. So, let's get fixing. Okay, just to show you, to do this, you, there's a little button in there. You gotta press that button in and then smack the top of that down and they should pop off. Should. Round two, big rammer. Okay, so you know they say work smarter, not harder. So I was struggling with pressing the, pressing the button in here. So you gotta press this button in and smack that at the same time and I was struggling with that. So I've come up with this dodgy contraption. So I've got a G clamp with a little tiny nut going in pressing my button and then you know what they also say if a hammer doesn't work get a bigger hammer and if that hammer doesn't work get an even bigger hammer so we've got a clamp and a big hammer hey <laughs> nailed it Okay, just want to show you the, the difference. And yes, that is literally what I had on there before. That's how much they wear out. So now the easy part, just bang them back on. This takes minutes, literally, super easy. All right, 
right, let's go flat lift it. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm in the field now. Um, I've done most of it. I'm getting there anyway. That's the, this is the field. It's 20, 21 ish acres. Um, I can show you on our little map here. So the you can see I've got a strip through there. I've got to do. I don't quite know why I missed that. That's weird. Um, so I've only got these little bits here to do, and then the headland uh, a couple of times. So. Uh, yeah, let's get on with it. So yeah, I think I'll uh, probably leave it here. I don't carry my GoPros on me, so I, I don't have anything to chuck outside. I've only got my big camera, um, so. Hopefully you've enjoyed me messing around in the workshop. Um, and yeah, as always, any questions, leave a comment down below. Um, and yeah, just let, let me know what you want to see, really. If you want me to bring my GoPros out and I can put them on the outside of the tractor and what have you, I will do that, but just, I don't really know where my GoPros are. I don't, I don't tend to use them too much nowadays. Um, but yeah, otherwise, have a smashing day, and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.